We're back, hey! And Brandon dropped the controller. I know, it's all good. Like, I like how this the special room looks for that. fucking cool as shit. Yeah, this is when you walked in the first time when I was playing on the TNT right. downstairs. I hadn't seen this whole cutscene though. Like, this this whole white and pink look is fucking rad. This is not sacrifice. This is evolution. It's very, uh, Fantasy Star Online feeling. I guess that's what I like about this game. Oh, yeah? Anyways. Is that it feels like Fantasy Star Online. Okay. Okay. So are you still playing Fantasy Star Online? Yeah, I still play With, that. What's your uh, level at this point? Uh, 131? 130? Uh, yeah. 200's the cap, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. so I've been like measuring, there. yeah. The thing is, though, once you reach like this period where I'm at, it literally takes weeks of playing on end, like non-stop. Jesus. In order to level up. Yeah, it's old school MMOs, man. Yeah. Did you ever beat uh, Final Olga Flow? Just act. Yeah, I have. Okay, so you beat it on every difficulty. Uh huh. Awesome. It's pretty. So I remember crazy. you saying that you hadn't beaten the final one. Before. And then, uh, if you have those special weapons, you can meet Red Ring Ringo. Red. Red Ringo, Ringo Star. What console are you doing on GameCube? Yeah, GameCube. Awesome. I do have it for uh, Xbox. Again. You can't play it on Xbox though, right? No, you Isn't can't. It online only. It is. Uh, it used to be, and you still need a passcode in order to play online. It's like this weird, budding combination. Mine was always X Y Y X. That was handy. Because uh, Victor's Victor owns the Xbox version, but he bought it like just as a collector item. Like, because we thought you couldn't play it unless you had Xbox Live. Yeah, I played it online for like once, like one time. For like once. Yeah, for like once, you know. <laughs> I didn't even know that the it still had online. Like, I'm surprised the servers. No, it are doesn't out. have online anymore. Yeah, the servers are, were cut. But there are still private servers, right? Like, yeah, definitely. Uh, I know the Bluebird servers are still up online. Uh, some uh, people run that. Um, my friend was trying to convince me to play it with him, like not too long after I started playing. Uh, I think there was like a server. very brief period where Victor and Shade played like private server Bluebird. God, that was like when we were really like heavily getting back into the PSI, wasn't it? Like as a oh, group. were you doing it too? Yeah, I had it downloaded on my computer. God, I'm gonna die a few times on this last boss. I don't have nearly enough health. Uh, I don't think I'll die in this phase though. This phase should be easy. It's always the second phase of this boss that annoys me. Kill it. Gosh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not doing shit damage to it. <laughs> I mean, I I've di I have taken it less than half. Health, but uh, still takes some time. Still takes us quite a bit of time, and there's no health items. Those look like shrimp. are those things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Don't question it. That's how I feel about things that I'm trying to kill. Who cares what <laughs> that is? Point. Kill it. Okay. What the go. fuck? What happened? I keep trying to upload this video to my daily motion. It says, it said imp <laughs> the first time I uploaded it. It said like. Failed to upload, try again. So just now I tried to upload it again, and I looked at it and it said, <laughs> this is the exact phrase, impossible to upload, tried four times. <laughs> what? I don't know what That's the amazing. fuck that means, but Daily Motion gave me an error message that said, impossible to upload, tried four times. Hey, here we go, bro. So the after the fourth the time, it was like, this is fucking ridiculous. Hey, well, I mean, I only this. tried twice, so that means it by itself kept trying like it was more determined it was like <laughs> oh man we gotta get this shit up <laughs> man this is the best video i've ever seen okay so here we are oh it looks like it uploaded the to the uh, google drive though. yeah google drive Woo! Google's. Yeah. like they jerk that, off that like, yeah. well it's like jerking off the cow udders. i'm milking myself milking a jack two dicks in the morning josh wood milk a jack two dicks at night I jacked two dicks before I jacked two dicks, and then I got the lyrics all fucked up. <laughs> mm, that's not a blues song I know. It sounds like a work of art. God, is this the reformation of oh Trial of God, the Golden Witch? This shit Witch? is getting trippy. Oh my God, it's been a long time since I've released something as Trial of the Golden Witch. Oh God. The last uh, Trial of the Golden Witch album was CC in January of last year, I think. I remember that none of the original was? members were on that album. No. I remember contributing to The that. last one that has you on it was um, Say yes. or Speak Up. It was Speak Up from uh, late 2013. 
I remember Billy Mays. Yeah, that was your That was in 2012. <laughs> that was uh, Are You the Cool Kids. Yeah. God, this boss pisses me off. Pisses me the fuck off. I don't remember where I got that quote from. Are you the cool kids? I think Marcus said it or something. Come on, helmet. No, don't do that, when, jackass. When are we? Okay, so when are we? When are we? This is the final boss, Josh. Oh, okay. And I will die at this point. I just know I will. Don't say that. Believe in yourself. No, it's uh, statistics. So. <laughs> Um, but look, he's almost halfway uh, dead. I don't know why. I feel like I lost my ability to write lyrics. I used to do it because all the time. Because you've been writing uh, reviews. Yeah. Well, like, it used to be... Uh, at first I thought it was because, like, I pretty much only ever write lyrics when I'm in, like, a really bad mood. Like, and you haven't been in a bad mood! Like, when I get really existential or, like, pissed off at the world and stuff like that. Okay, but then okay. even when I am in a bad you mood now, I still thing. don't really it doesn't find matter, myself Josh. writing lyrics. I don't care about the Instead, thing. I just watch <laughs> Let's Plays because they, they take my mind off of the fact that I'm mad. Everything takes the fact off. I, I just don't... What? I don't spend any time, like thinking about being mad anymore i just like do something to get over it you know like when my channel went down i spent weeks on weeks watching game grumps because it would allow me to not think about the fact that my channel was down okay stop spitting yeah this is the boss i was talking Dang. about at the, at the very beginning of this video series when i said that i was watching Brandon play the final boss and the CRT looks so amazing that I brought it to my room. This is the boss I was referring to. Like <laughs> the very last boss of the game. Yeah, just Yeah, he came way, in at like the 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 best time. The way like the 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 background elements are like moving around, everything's like purple and crazy. There's like these big pink orbs and it's so vibrant and intense. The attacks are like these giant green waves and stuff, and I was just like, this this is like Everything I wish games looked like, and they don't now, <laughs> you know? Oh, God, I just got wrecked by that. I didn't think that his breath thing could wreck me that bad. Okay, let's take off his helmet. No, don't slice Oh, I've me. never been a fan of the way that uh, GameCube games tend to have textures that are, like, more detailed than their resolution can really make look good. <laughs> they tried, man. They tried reaching for the stars. It seems like the textures are often, like, no. Just messy looking. Like no, they reached for like the for stars. For instance, uh, like Twilight Princess. <laughs> the stars. Like all the textures in Twilight Princess just look like a fucking mess. You look like a mess. Ooh, oh, fucking god. God, Falcon, no! You had one job, and that was to survive. You're the best pilot that I have, but for some reason you're too old. You fucking uh, oh god. <laughs> he what? just pisses me off. You know that he's not even based on a falcon. <laughs> what is he based off of? What's it called? Uh, Toucan? No, it's a fucking... Eagle? No, I need to look at Blue a list Jay? of birds. No, it's a... Cardinal. God, this, I feel like Actually, th it was this attack in particular that blew my mind when you were playing this. Just all the fucking pink, like, lightning bolts. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing! It really feels like... Like, like how arcade games are meant to feel. Where it's like that overwhelming amount of color and light and sound. And, and everything is, like, in your face. Right. Though I hate that at actual arcades, because it's so fucking loud, I can't deal yeah. with it. I like the sound I, of I arcades. I can't deal with that level of loudness. When I'm at an arcade, I immediately go to where the fighting games are. And I get pissed off when they don't have fighting games. When the fuck... Where are you finding an arcade with fighting games these days? Um, the last one was Video Game Heaven in Norfolk. Is that... Don't go there. It looks like a museum. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you feel wrong whenever you touch anything. Like, all the video games are on the sides. And everything's in glass cases. And there's one guy in, like, a, like a help so that, kiosk that's the, in the, the middle. The new one, right? Yeah. That they just built? And I just, I, like, me and Vic went in there, and we were like, this is wrong. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. I, I mean, I feel that about the video game heaven that, that we have here in Virginia Beach, because they never play music. So it's I always walked, just really quiet and awkward. I walked in there, and I was just, like, kind of looking at stuff. Were you with Iva? No, I was by myself. And My friend went in there with his girlfriend, and they were like, 
they were staring them down for the longest time. Yeah, that, time. that's what I was like. They were and just they were looking like, at me, and I was like, slowly walk away. I don't know, like, if I'm supposed to ask them a question or. Yeah, they. That's just how they are there, man. It's really quiet, and they're really expectant because it's obvious they don't get like a lot of customers. They're in a terrible location. Yeah, they are. I didn't know it was there for the longest time. I yeah. just happened to see no it one did. day. Yeah, we, we just saw it driving by, and I was like, oh my god, is that the Castlevania logo? And then that's why we went in. This, this uh, to clarify for our audience, Video Game Heaven is a local video game, uh, I guess, franchise. But um, their logo is the Castlevania font. Like, it looks like the NES Castlevania game, but it says Video Game Heaven. You did it, Brandon! You did it! I did it! I- on my oh, birthday, fuck. my it's friend back. took me to Video Game Heaven, and he's, Jesus. well, the thing was, uh, he just, we just got in the car and we were like, let's go, man, let's go. I was just like, let's go. And yeah, and he, it was like my birthday, and I was just like, okay, this is going to be a surprise or something. And we drove for, like, what felt like the better part of an hour, and we were like, this is crazy, where are we going? He just goes, I'm going to bury you somewhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we eventually got to Video Game Heaven, we bought this game that I'm playing right now for, like... Really cheap. Like, anywhere else it would have been like 80 plus dollars. I died just now. God. With like three hits left on the boss. No, too. it was a bit more than that. It, like five. It's fine. I'm... Oh, the whole thing again. Alright, I'm leaning back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I, boss I ended is up, not forgiving. I ended up buying a GameCube controller just because they kept looking at me and I was like, I have to buy something. You have to buy something? Yeah, that's the way that it feels in Video Game Heaven, doesn't it? It doesn't feel like Video Game Heaven. It feels like Video Game Purgatory. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> I was like, I have to buy something. We should go there to buy Jet Force Gemini if they still have it. Oh, God. In- unless we have it somewhere. You know they're going to have it. They don't have customers. They don't know what customers are. Hey, man, they had Dark Cloud once, and they didn't have it again when I came back, and I was really sad. Some guy like, in We the went store all the way out there just it. to get Dark Cloud, and they didn't have it. No, Crystal, don't go. It's a trap. It's You're going to fuck up. It's a trap. They make references to all the old quotes from Star Fox 64 in this game, but uh, uh, Peppy doesn't say do a barrel roll. It makes me Probably mad. because they were like... But the, the ship too... doesn't have ailerons, so it can't really do an aileron roll in its purest form. I mean, it's still the essence of an aileron roll, and, but he's doing it in space, and so the, the, the essence of the aileron roll is lost. Cause that sounded need... really pretentious. Well, uh, <laughs> the ailerons are the part of the ships that are on the wings. The, it's like the little flaps on the wings. I watched a physics video on this. On what was the, it by Game Theory? No, it wasn't actually. It was because they uh, have what about? Yeah, that? It was, that guy is pretty bad on his theories. Uh, it was about. It was by PBS actually. That guy is pretty. What? And they make reference. Some of his really a lot of his theories are like really off. I mean, he does do a lot of math on stu- and stuff in his videos, and usually his math is like, on point, and, but his theories themselves have a lot of holes in them. But that's just because games have holes in them, I guess. The, the you know, about... everything is measured in space meters in this game? Space meters. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> the thing about game theory is that, like, I, I want to enjoy them, but, like, it's so obvious that he tries to make every video 15 minutes long. Because, like, that's, like, the optimal, like, view time for a YouTube video now. Yes, that is true. And so he goes out of his way to add as much filler into the video to make it 15 minutes. And it'll just be, like, all these stupid jokes. And it takes, like, seven minutes before he actually gets to the point. It's, like, in in this show where Mario I'm is I'm glad that you have the, the cadence in his voice. <laughs> oh, I can, I can easily... Welcome to Game Theory, the only show where we prove that your favorite game characters might be a psychopath. God. God! <laughs> I wonder I can't, if mixed I up with quite, his homework. I can't make my voice like crack as much as his does. Yeah, his voice is pretty cracky. Cracky? Is that the right? Crack- I can definitely do the cadence. <laughs> I right, let me shoot these. Orbs. I wish he would give me a But it's just a theory. What an unforgiving a boss. A game theory. An Thanks for boss watching. Okay, I'm gonna really pop the That ideas. channel is fucking huge now. It, it is very They've crazy. got like 6 million subscribers or some shit. It's like one of the biggest channels. I watched it from when it had like 30,000. 
so you're like come on give me help you're like the original it wasn't even that long ago like they they grew really basically that was health with youtube channels there's like there's a period where you're in the mid like like in between like 30,000 and 100,000 like you're gonna be there for a while yeah and then something's gonna blow up to take you into the hundreds of thousands and that's when you start moving a little bit more quickly and if you stop there that means you've hit your max audience like like for instance the needle drop has had like 400,000 for like a year because he's basically high. hit the maximum amount of people who give a fuck about daily music reviews but um but if you're gonna go higher then at some point You'll hit one that million, and you're either no, gonna that was, uh, an upgrade. you're oh. either gonna plateau between one million and two million, Still or you're just like going that. to keep growing insanely forever. And uh, game theory has hit that point where they're now just growing at an insane fucking rate, and uh, I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon because their videos all get huge, except for all the like the other ones that aren't game theory. Like, Gaijin Goomba. Oh, God. Yeah, his collaboration videos leave a lot to be desired. <laughs> I mean, I love, uh... The, the guy who... Who edits... Ah, oh, fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this pisses me off that I've never, like, died this much to this guy. I'm actually on my last continue. Are you really? Yeah, do you see the hearts in the bottom right? Oh, shit. Bottom left? The guy who edits Game Theory does the show digressing and side questing on the channel, and, like... The, his videos are like by far the best on the channel, but there's only like three of them. It's um like ones on the, one was where he was like playing defense for Zelda one, and that got me to play Zelda one. Um, and then there's one about like the the genius of uh, Super Metroid, which is fucking great. I'm just blanking you out. I'm really turning it up, and then I just get smacked. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Just keep talking. I don't even know what I was talking You're about. Talking You're talking about Super Metroid. Day, Super Metroid! I love Super things. Metroid. It's one of my favorite. Have you seen my fucking amazing Super Metroid poster? No one has, except for me. Josh, look behind you. There it is! Do you oh, see look how at that. fucking awesome that poster is? It says Super Metroid on it, really big. In fact, you know what? Um, since we're just watching Brandon do the same fight for the fourth time anyway... Uh, oh, okay. hey. Here's, here's I'm Josh. I'm Josh, in case... Uh... Josh. None of you know what I, I look like. I don't want to like. zoom out and ruin my zoom. Yeah, please don't. Um, uh... Here's Brandon Tolentino. Hi, I'm He's really concentrated right now. Really concentrated right now. And there is my fucking incredible Super Metroid poster. You can't see it that well in this light, but you can definitely see Samus. And the most important I'm thing is the words Super boss, Metroid because they look like incredible. Here, let's uh, portrait view. Yeah, I'm <laughs> at full health and everything. Okay, but I'm this back. positive that it's going to be at wasted at some point. Yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, full health. Get it nice and straight. God, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, man, just, you're really pissing me off. Just jam it in there. Yeah. Mm, Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Tw just twist your chair um, around, yeah. dog. Just do it. Just tr try and make the sound. Which sound? Mm. Ooh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you sound like you were doing some voice acting for, like, Leisure Suit Larry or something. <laughs> yeah, you know Marcus played through that game? Did he really? Yes. That's my favorite Marcus fact. I like... remember my uh, geology professor, he he wouldn't talk about video games very often. He was, like, an old guy, but he was like, yeah, we used to play Leisure Suit Larry all the time. And I was like, oh, great, Ooh. my geology professor's a fucking pervert. <laughs> Well, I mean, those were comedy games. Yeah, yeah that's comedy. But one of them, w there was, like, one in particular that was, like, just perverted. <laughs> um, Magna Cum Loud for the PS2. Is that what it was? That one came so. out in, close to when the Playboy game came out. Do you remember that? You guys... I think there was also a game for the Man Show. No, oh, God. yeah, that game's banned because uh, there was someone that was underage in that game. Oh, wow. Oh, what? Yeah, why do I know these video game facts? I think I've heard that before, back when I was watching G4 all I the time. I wish I knew where like, I heard this stuff. Probably oh, G4, God. back when that was a thing. If you ever had that no one knows what G4 is, man. I'm sad that that's gone now. Specific. There's a, uh, there was a great... They used um, to do live footage of Evo. And that, that's like there's a I had Sarah Jean Underwood. There's a channel called Olivia Munn. Um, there's a YouTube Ooh. channel called Good Bad Flicks. Really hot chicks. And um, <laughs> Olivia Munn was like late age. 
But anyways, and she's now in all kinds of shit. She's, yeah, she's an actress. But uh, anyway, um, there's a channel on YouTube called Good Bad Flicks, and he has a video on G4. Where he just like basically tells the whole history of the channel, like just like I what all I've the shows were this. and what they all were about and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. Very nostalgic as someone who watched a lot of G4 in the mid 2000s. I feel like I've I've seen that show that you're talking about. Good Bad Flicks. Yeah. Yeah, he's got, um, you've probably seen, he had a couple of really big You're videos where, um, Don't. one was about, like, the problems with- FUCK! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm good now. God, this isn't happening to me. Game <laughs> over. Brandon's, like, do the baddest he's ever been. I've never seen him hit something. God! It's not gonna make you replay the whole level, is it? It might. I've never had a game over in this game. I didn't even realize there was a live system. Oh my god! Do you have to do the whole level? Yeah. Alright, uh, next time on Digimon. Next, Rose, time, we're name, try next this time on Digimon. He was one hit away! I can't believe this! God. The real finale. Alright, let's go.